Mr. President, thank you for being here. Thank you. It's a great honor. Yeah, on Tuesday, uh, Dan Bishop versus Dan McCready. How important is it for um, you to pick up that seat? Well, it's very important. We need Dan, well, you know, our Dan, right, which is Dan Bishop. He's been fantastic. He's been a friend of mine. He's been somebody that I know well for a long period of time. He's an outstanding person, and he wants strong borders. He wants to protect your Second Amendment, which, as you know, is under siege in so many different ways. And Dan Bishop, I think, should win tomorrow. Uh, he's got tremendous support. You see, not only do we have a full arena, but we have thousands of people standing outside. So I think Dan's going to be in good shape. He's strong on crime, loves the military, loves the vets. He's going to help us in Washington. McCready, I mean, the problem is you take a look at what he wants. He wants open borders, and he loves sanctuary cities. You can't have that. Yeah, uh, we were with the vice president today, and he said that. He said a vote for Dan McCready would be a vote for sanctuary cities. Which is not good. I mean, it's not good. And certainly the people of North Carolina don't want that. All right, let's talk about um, we had a big hurricane here last week in the state of North Carolina. I know you wanted an opportunity to go visit some of that area. What support can the folks who are impacted um, get from the government and rely on? Well, we're actually meeting with a number of people, and we did before, as you know, uh, the because of actually hailstorms and everything else, they weren't allowing anybody to go in. But uh, they got hit hard. North Carolina got hit pretty hard, and we're taking care of it. We just spoke to your governor. We're taking care of it very, very powerfully. We're doing all sorts of emergency uh, declarations, and most of them have been done already. And a lot of work's been done. The Coast Guard has been incredible. FEMA's been incredible. And a lot of work. It was very important to me, North Carolina. You actually got hit the hardest of anybody, if you think about it. I mean, we're not including the Bahamas, who really got. And the government of the Bahamas, as you know, called me and we're helping them out. They really got some beating. There's no question about it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, let's talk about the Republican primary for 2020. It was yes. just announced. Former Governor of South Carolina, Mark Sanford, plans to run against you in the Republican primary. Your reaction to that? Well, I don't think there's much reaction. I just got a 94 percent approval rating in the Republican Party, and that's the highest in history, higher than Ronald Reagan, who had an 87. So I don't can't imagine with his past and, you know, a tweet that I gave actually knocked him out of the last race. He lost his last race. I tweeted for his opponent and his opponent won. And I actually did that on Election Day. So it was sort of a uh, crazy thing. But now I understand he's going to do something. And I guess there's a couple of other folks, too, that don't have the greatest record possible. Well, Mark Sanford is trying to say the debt right now should be a reason why people should be concerned to reelect you as president. Well, we had to rebuild our military. Our military has uh, been totally rebuilt, almost completely rebuilt with new planes, which a lot of equipment made right here in North Carolina. And we have no choice but to rebuild our military. And we can start working on that very soon in terms of debt because I understand debt very well. I think I understand it really. I've done very well with debt over the years. And I will tell you, uh, if we don't rebuild our military, we don't have much of a country, especially with the threats that we have, all the different threats that we have outside our country, beyond our co country internationally. So we have rebuilt our military. We've taken care of our vets. We got choice approved. Uh, our, uh, if you look at uh, not only the vets, I mean, just the VA, you haven't heard complaints about the VA for the last two years. The VA is really running for the first time really smoothly, and we've done a good job, and we can cut costs very quickly at the right time. All right, let's talk about um, the RNC. It's going to be in Charlotte next year. Okay. Lots going on. Um, the mayor has said, welcome That's everybody right. from the RNC with open arms, but they don't want all the rhetoric uh, that we sometimes here. Well, that's true. The mayor's been excellent, actually, and we uh, many cities wanted us to go there. As you know, it's a convention. It brings a lot of business, a lot of money, a lot of economic development, frankly, and the mayor's been terrific. And we think we're going to have, hopefully, a very great convention and go on to victory in 2020. You're going to be the keynote at uh, the National HBCU That's conference what I've heard. Tuesday. That's what I've heard. What do you plan to tell all the folks with the historically black colleges in your life? Well, you know, I've been very supportive of the historically black colleges, more so than the previous administration. We've given uh, tremendous amounts of hundreds of millions of dollars, and others haven't. I've been very, very supportive, so I look forward to being here. Thank you for your Thank time. you very much. President, Great job. good Thank to you. see you.